All right, so now we have that under our bag. And now let's look at matrix multiplication. So a matrix, plural is matrices, is just a rectangular array or table of numbers, symbols, or expressions, such as the following two by two matrix. So here's just a matrix with, that has two rows and two columns. I'll call this A inside the here, B, C, D. So this is two by two matrix like that. All right, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all a matrix is, just a, uh, a table or array of data points. In this case, there's four for this two by two matrix, and you could uh, make them whatever you want and so on. So now let's take a look at multiplying two matrices such as A and B. This is defined such that it produces a second matrix C, and uh, it is denoted by AB and follows the rules listed below. So the number of columns of the first matrix A uh, must equal to the number of rows in the second matrix B. And the resulting matrix has the same number of rows of the first A and the number of columns of the second matrix B. So it's the same as the uh, second matrix B columns and then the other one uh, A rows. And uh, MES note, typically the notation for matrix is to bold the symbol such as A but I'll use the following notation as well, where it is more clear uh, with this rectangle, uh, rectangular bracket and bold. We'll have like this uh, uh, bracket A and an end bracket. And uh, this notation, uh, yeah, this one, uh, Lori Gardy uses it, and she also got it from uh, DeSinti, Robert DeSinti. Yes, which is quite interesting. And uh, let's go now and uh, illustrate these rules or this multiplication, but mainly these rules that we are defining for multiplication. So let's say we have a matrix that's this this much rows we'll call this say we have five rows we'll call this i does so i is five rows and we'll call this like that i is five and this is we'll go here one two just three so this is gonna be four this is gonna be five we have one two three four five five rows like that let's erase this Erase, 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 erase. So that's five, and let's say we have uh, three columns in this first one. All right, so that's our first matrix, and this is yeah three, one, two, one, two, three, and so on. And this is going to be let's call this M equals to three, and this is our matrix A, like that. And we're going to multiply this matrix A by B. So now let's look at the first rule: the number of columns. So this is, this is the columns. Yeah, this right here is the columns. M is three of the first one. So the number of columns of the first matrix A must equal to the number of rows of the second matrix B. All right, so then these ones have to match with B. So in other words, we need an M is three. So we're gonna have to have uh, three right here. So, so one, two, three rows for the second matrix B. But otherwise we can't multiply it according to our definition. And this is going to be, we'll call this also going to be MS3. So that's the second matrix. And there's no other rules for the length of this one. So we're, we'll make this four, just so it's different. So we'll call this one, two, and then there's, there's four now. Yeah, that means there's four. Whoops. All right, so this is one, two, three, four, like that. So there's four, and we'll call this N. For the number of rows of the second, this equals to four. And this is our B. So A matrix times B. This has to equal. And now let's take a look at the rules. The resulting matrix has the number of rows of the first A. So in other words, this has to have I's five. And the number of columns of the second matrix B. No, uh, number of columns four. So in other words, we're gonna get uh yeah, we're gonna get I5 and we're going to get N4. So we're going to go here. This is going to be one, two, let's make this longer. One, two, three, four. And this is going to be like that, like this, and like that. And uh, here's the uh, fix it up, moved it around. So that's four. So we go one, two, three, four, and it's four. And then we have I is five. So one, two, three, four, five. And this is going to be I equals to five. So that is, this is equals to our C or AB or AB like that. 
So yeah, that's our C matrix there. All right, so now that we've gone over these rules for the size of these uh, matrices when you multiply and the rules that you need these ones to be the same. So this needs to be the same here. And then uh, the, the following one has the uh, lengths accordingly. So the rows of the first and then columns of the second. And now we'll look at the, uh, the rules for the actual values inside this uh, matrix C. So the values in C or AB involve multiplying each corresponding row of A. So we'll look at the row of A we get with each corresponding column of B and summing them up as follows. follows. All right, to, yeah, so to illustrate the rules uh, for uh, the values inside of this, I will look at a simple um, yeah, matrix. So we'll look at a three by two times by two by two. So in other words, uh, the first one, let's, take, let's use three rows. So I is three. And what I'll do is, well, it's gonna be three rows. So the first column is gonna be, uh, we'll label it such as this, where the first number, one, indicates the row. And the second number indicates the column, so A11. And then this is going to be 2 now, because it's the second row. A, A21 is still the first column. And this next one's going to be A31. And then we'll use a just a 2 by 2 So, I mean a 3 by 2 So then this is the next one's going to be, well, first row, second column. This next one's going to be first, second row, second column. Next one's going to be uh, second, I mean third row, second column. And this is going to be m is equal to 2. So if, if m is 2 in this example, if we're going to multiply by another matrix, it needs to be the same. So m needs to be 2 as well uh, for the rows. Yeah, for the rows. Times it by, and then we're going to have to have the, uh, m is 2 as well. So it has to be m is 2. And let's say the first one is going to be, let's use b now for this matrix. We'll call this b11, one, one, first row and first column. Second row, first column. And then let's just use a simple two by two. So then we'll just stick over here. So B1, first row, second column. Uh, second row, second column. So B2, 2. B1, 1, B1, 2, and B2, 2. And this is just our N is equal to 2. So now if we multiply, yeah, when we multiply, we're going to get, well, number the same. We're going to get I, if this is I equals 5, this is I equals 5. So in other words, it's going to be 3. It's going to be 3. I equals to three, so three rows, and it's going to be then it's going to be n is four, n is four, so and it's going to be two, uh, two columns, and the values inside, yeah, they're going to be well according to this uh, these rules. So multiplying each row of a, so we'll take a row of a, and then by the uh, column of b, so this is a column of b like that. So, and they're going to be like this. So A11 multiplies with this one here. So this multiplies with this. And we're going to get A11 times by B11. And then we sum them up. So then we sum up. In other words, this is going to be added to, and then the next one. A12 times by B21. So these are the rules for matrix multiplication. And it's going to be B, or uh, A12. Uh, times it by B, uh, two one, yes, yeah, so two one. So the rows and columns, and that is basically the pattern we're gonna have to follow for every single setup here. So that's the yeah. So that's the corresponding row with the column. So that's the first column. So this is just one data point there. All right, and here is move things over to the left just to get more room for the second uh second column. So that's the first one there, and then the second one's gonna be well, we're gonna multiply now this row by this column. So in other words, we're gonna get A11. Again, I'll just do this one last time for this, just to illustrate this. So A11 multiplies with this, A11, and then B12. And then we're gonna get um, this multiplied by this. And then plus, yeah, this is gonna be plus A12, 1, 2, and then B, Two two. I mean, yeah, B two two. That's right. And I'm gonna move this a bit closer. We're just gonna box that in. Yeah, I'll draw the box here. All right, here. Let's move this over. And yeah, so that's the first one. And yes, yeah, so we got the first two col uh, columns of the data on this one here. Yeah, I mean, uh, the the first uh, two columns of the first row 
of this uh, matrix here. And again, I'll put this here, n is equal to two. So the same as this one here, n is two, i is three. This is the number of columns. All right, let's go back here. So now the, the second row is basically gonna use this row. And again, the columns. That's why it, that's why the number of rows here match this one, and number of columns match the second matrix. And then we're going to multiply that again. So it's going to be A21 times uh, B11. A21 times B11. And uh, notice the pattern here. So this A11 is a B11. And then the next one's going to be B21 as well. And this one's going to be just A22. So plus A22. And then this one here, B21, like that. And then the next right here is going to be, uh, now we remove this, and now we're going to multiply by this side. This one stays the same, because it's the same row. And this is going to be A21, B12, and these ones always the same on these ones, uh, plus A22, then B22. All right, yeah, so matrix uh, multiplication or just matrices in, in, in general aren't that complex. They're, they're just basically uh, doing uh, repeating a whole bunch of tedious calculations into a compact form. So that's pretty much a matrix algebra. And then when you go do linear algebra and so on, it's pretty much the idea of it is to streamline so it'll be easier for computers to do. All right, so now we have that. And then the next one is here, A31, A32. This is the third row. And then we'll look at the first column of the third row. We'll multiply this. So A31 multiplies B11, then A32, B21, and so on. So notice these ones are all, all match. So we could just simplify this whole thing. B11, B21, that's going to happen. And then this one here, all, all of the same ones that are exact. So B12, and this one's B22. Those ones aren't going to change. And then we'll multiply this inside here, A31. And the next one's A32 plus A32. And then this one here, uh, notice this one, this one's the same, the rows are the same. Uh, and then this one here, the columns are the same. So notice the, the symmetry there, or the pattern. So the next one's going to be just A31. Move this here, multiply by that in here. A31 plus A32, uh, like that. All right.